and long. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my braiding and banding routine. I'm going to be washing my hair in a few minutes. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so let's remove this half ponytail. So what should we talk about while I'm doing this? Okay, so to braid and band my hair, oh God, I severed my hair. This has been my routine since I was relaxed. This is the way that I separate my hair to do a roller set, to apply twists for twist outs and any kind of hairstyle. I always separate my hair like this. So I start with the side part and it doesn't have to be neat, of course, but do it neat enough that you don't like snag your hair and everything, you know? So let's see. My hair is really dirty, you guys. It's time to wash my hair. So this is the side part. And now I'm going to be separating like this. So I have one section. So this is one section and I'm going to be separating this section into two because if I try to braid the whole thing, it would be difficult for me to braid and then wash. So I'd rather do two braids with that than just one. Just going to put it out of the way and braid. What I do usually is comb through it with my fingers and then I braid. I try to braid loosely and not too tight at the root. I'm so tender ended, guys. Sorry. I'm making faces. This is the section. I braided it. I don't use the plastic elastics that come with the Sister Locks kit. I use bigger elastics than like these ones. And I'm going to be particularly bundling the ends like this. Okay, so next section. Again, I'm combing through with my fingers and I'm going to be braiding loosely at the root. And then I'm gonna fold and bundle. And these are fun to use because they are easy to remove when your hair is wet. You don't have to. It doesn't take too long but sometimes I'm lazy. Okay, next, next section I do is I separate my hair on the other side. Okay. Let me just compare it to the other one because I don't want to leave too much hair for the middle section. If I don't part them properly, then I have a lot of hair for the middle and it's not good. So I'm going to do another row. Alright, so next thing I do is again, I separate this section so that I can braid it. I think the bottom one is smaller, so I'm going to do another row. Take this section and braid it once again. So now, uh, so now I'm braiding again, all the way to the tips as much as I can. Now I can fold and bundle the ends. And there you go. Got another one done. Okay, so now this section. I'm doing things like pulling my hair like this because I hardly ever part my hair, so sometimes it gets a little bit matted at the root. After my wash, I'm going to be watching television and separating my locks one from the other. That's another routine. That's what I do after I wash my hair. Okay, 
now the front section. Try to be loose, but sometimes they're tighter than I really want. I remember when I used to do this and it was so small, they were so small. Okay, so now I have to bundle from here. Okay, so the back it doesn't matter anymore because I can't see. So I'm not gonna part perfectly. Okay, so this one I'm gonna braid it to the side. the back again I will be separating into three large sections one two three <laughs> and then I'll be separating each one into two or three sections you don't need it to be perfect so I think I can get away with two sections I'm gonna see because this one's really skinny Take more hair in this section than this bottom one because the locks are more locked here than here and so it's a little harder to bundle and this will help you to wash your hair more thoroughly and it will also protect your sister locks from unraveling if you're in lock wear or also from experiencing bunching and things like that. Alright. So now the bottom section. You always have to braid it in a way that you can take all the hairs. And those are really short and they have fatter ends. So it's harder to braid. Okay, next section will be the other side. I do the middle section last. I'm just gonna put it out of the way. And we're gonna be braiding and banding this side right now. So I'm gonna check if I can do just two braids or if I have to do three. So now we're braiding and banding the top and then we're gonna do having a foundation problem with and I don't know what to do because none of my foundations work anymore. See that? It's annoying. Because I've been in the house for so long, I haven't tanned in like a year, over a year. I haven't gone out so I haven't tanned. Okay, last section. So happy. I really feel so bad about being lazy about my hair. Something like this doesn't take any time at all. I've been talking and doing this while I'm talking and it's been less than, less than 20 minutes. Like, no time at all. So this middle section, I might need to do three. Let me just check. Yeah, I'm gonna do three for that. This full and that should Second section. These three I can do smaller than the other ones, so it's fine. One last one, I'm gonna just bundle like this. Okay. <laughs> I always forget one so it's not in the bundle. So this is me. I finished my braiding and banding. I have two this is 
I have 15 braids and 15 bundles. Usually this is how I separate my hair. Um, maybe in the back instead of seven, I have six. This is my routine that I've been doing for like over a year, I think, separating my hair like this to braid and band. I'm gonna find my baby lock and I'm going to show you what I do for that. All right, so I found the baby lock. It's this one here. You can see. So it is loose here. So this is the one. So what I'm gonna do is, because I don't want it to unravel, I'm going to attach it with a barrette. So it's gonna be a barrette like this because I don't want it to flop around in the wind or in the water. I'm securing it with that. Hopefully it helps. So what I will do is I will probably come back after I finish washing my hair. See you in the next few seconds. All right guys, so I'm back. My hair is washed. And I put this turban on so that it would just absorb water out of my hair. I've been wearing it for about maybe 20 minutes, something like that. Maybe it's been over 30 minutes. I got out of the shower, um, towel dried myself, moisturized my skin with my CeraVe. After that, I did a little makeup because I'm going out in a few minutes, me and my husband. So I did a little something, very, very casual. And now I'm going to be removing my braids and my turban. So let's do that now. It's really wet and my hair is still very, very wet. I'm not going to be able to do the, the separating. I'm supposed to be separating my hair, but since I'm going out, I'm going to have to wait and do it when I come back, but that's okay. And just to show you how easy and fast it is, one down. My hair is pretty damp right now, but I'm expecting it to be dry by the time I go to bed. Right now it's 7 p.m. approximately, but my hair dries really fast and since we're going out, Usually I go to bed around midnight and this is my length when it's damp. This is the reason why I use the big elastics because I can't be bothered with the small ones. They take too long to, to remove and I'm afraid of using scissors on my hair when I can't really see what I'm doing. So to wash my hair I use the Sister Lock starter shampoo as usual. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my hair when it's damp. My little curlies. Okay, so let's see my little uh, lock. How it did. Alright, so I have to do a few off camera because I don't have enough space in my cart. These are the two left. Plus one. And there we go. Clean hair. And it took no time at all. In the shower, as usual. I rarely keep the braids in to get the uh, braid out look. I don't do that because they're not real braids, right? It's not tight enough to give you a nice crinkled look, but still, you, this is what I get when my hair is freshly washed. This is my hair, damp. I guess that's it. This is my braiding and banding routine. I do this every, at least every month. I wash my hair at least once a month, sometimes every two or three weeks, depending. And I braid and band still my hair every time I wash. 
almost every time I wash. <laughs> I skipped a couple of times, but most of the time I braid and band. I try to follow the instructions and everything, but uh, yeah, sometimes I get tired like anybody else and uh, my hair is pretty much not gonna unravel. So I'm not really afraid for that, but I don't want to have bunching. So that's why I'm continuing to braid and band. But so far so good, my hair is doing really well with the locking process. And wow, it's really, really nice and long. Wow. So I can't wait for my hair to be like down here. Well, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in another video and comment down below if you have any questions, any comments, any encouragement, any, I don't know, maybe even um, advice. You can comment down below. I like to hear what you guys are doing with your hair or what you would like to do when you get to two years with your hair if your, your hair is not there yet at two years. Um, I want to once again thank you guys for subscribing and those who aren't subscribed please subscribe I would like to um, grow my channel. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!